The Democratic Republic of Congo is an extremely poor country, yet with a huge potential for development through its natural resources. We think the mining sector could really provide the building blocks for, for this country that is huge and that has a huge number of needs. Now we've seen over the past decades that management was very short-sighted and sometimes led to very bad deals with foreign investors. So how the Carter Center started working on this was to look at those mining contracts and try, um, when the government announced a review of all those deals that they signed with the foreign investors, um, try and, and see how they could be improved. But once they started renegotiating the contracts and actually changing the terms, no observers allowed. We've been advocating for transparency in this sector for that reason, because those contracts could generate revenues for the state, which then should provide the social services to its population, healthcare, education, and so forth. We've gathered a lot of information, um, often public, but scattered across, across inboxes and, and, and websites and offices and hard copies. So what we try to do with our website, congominds.org, we try to gather that information in a very accessible way, in a very organized way. The website now includes documents from a whole variety of sources, going from annual reports of the mining companies that are operating in Katanga province, NGO reports, figures on revenue, statistics on production, on export. And we also put a great effort in trying to map all those companies. There are about 30 companies that have uh, projects that are either already producing or in development, in concrete development. And it is very difficult to even know who's doing what where. So we have included on our website a mapping tool that hopefully is useful for researchers, for activists, government officials, administrators to go and look which companies where and learn from that. In the future, what we really would like to do is put the civil society organizations in the, in the pole position and accompany them the way we do it with other programs in, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, especially with, with our human rights program. Um, we would like to have the NGOs themselves, the non-governmental organizations themselves, um, carry out the project with our feedback, with our support, um, both financially and technically. Um, and we believe that this will be a much more sustainable way of operating in the country, because eventually it is the people there that will hold accountable their government, not only through elections, and that has been a very difficult process, but also in everyday governance, especially in a sector that is really providing hope for the country, which is the industrial mining sector.